On today, we're going to talk about what makes a youth baseball cleat so special and how you should approach picking one for your son or daughter when it comes to youth baseball sports. So when it comes to a couple different you know, aspects of picking a baseball cleat, um, we're going to talk about just uh, molded TPU cleats. We're not going to go into metal on this uh, video. But when it comes to TPU, um, you know, the plastic, a.k.a. plastic cleats, there's a lot to look for, especially um, depending on what position maybe your son or daughter plays and also um, what brand they, that you pick. So when it comes to how to pick a youth baseball cleat, I always take a look at the the kid's foot so nike usually typically runs longer and narrower uh new balance if if you find a cleat that that you like there's a little they're a little wider um adidas is a little longer and narrower um and under arm was a little narrower too um so and i mean obviously there's other brands besides that but those are typically your four major brands so let's just take a look um there's a lot of stuff here you know you're Common Dick's goods would will probably be, you know, the number one place that you guys will probably go and buy a shoe unless you buy them on like Amazon or whatever. But you you have two different styles of shoes here. You have a high top or a mid, and then you have a low top. So typically your high top shoe, you know, I would suggest for, you know, the, the kids that have bigger feet, you know, uh, that need a more of a sturdier, you know, foot that, that way it goes up on the ankle a little bit more and it's a little bit more secure. So something like this, this little keystone or this, this, Z, this zoom trout thing with the, the little Velcro at the top would probably be better. So, um, obviously you have low top, the TPU is the, the cleat aspect of it right there. Um, and then you have all kinds of different options and colors and what have you, um, my son likes the Under Armour ones. He likes Bryce Harper. Obviously, we're Philly fans, so he likes Bryce Har Harper cleats. And, um, the, you know, those typically run, you know, here's a low top, and then you have the high top over here. So you can see the difference. You know, it comes up on the ankle a little bit more. It gives you a little bit more ankle support. Now, you know, a lot of people will debate, you know, oh, the high tops make you slower, da da da, da and I don't believe in that. It's just for ankle support. A shoe is a shoe. It may be a little bit heavier because there's more material, but that's it. Um, when it comes to the, uh, another aspect of selecting a cleat, um, I always look for, you know, is the kid a pitcher? So this this front area of the toe there um, can definitely come into play. If it's rubbing a lot when the, the, the your kid is pitching, it will hit the rubber. They come around, you know, hit the toe when they follow through. So definitely take a look at that when you're shopping for a good cleat. Um, obviously, there's turf cleats out there, too, with the um, invention of turf fields now. Um, you know, those would be ideal for a turf field moving forward or indoor batting practice or something like that. So take a look at that as well. Um, some options, you know, Adidas has, you know, some more high top options there, low top option there. And then obviously you have your Bryce Harper, your Under Armors, more Adidas, more Adidas. Um, you know, you use cleats really. I mean, you know, if they're playing T-ball guys, you know, whatever cleats you get on them that they're comfortable in, go for it. No price there. Obviously, some are more expensive than you know, others. My son had these shoes because they're the special edition. And then obviously you have some new balance there. They're more of a comfortable shoe. They come in wides and stuff like that. So if your son or daughter does have a wider foot, take a look at new balance. They may fit them a little bit better. Um, but yeah, for the most part, uh, they're all pretty much the same. Just pick your style as preferred style. They have some other, you know, options in here, but yeah, pretty much that's pretty much it that you'll see uh, when it comes to picking a cleat for your son or daughter for youth baseball. Now, as they get older, there's some more options, obviously, with the bigger feet. Um, the men's shoes come into play. You have a different type of TPU. It's a little bit of a harder TPU. And then, obviously, you have metal cleats as well. But we'll talk about that in a separate video. So, quick overview. Just wanted to get on here and do that quickly for you guys. I had some questions of people trying to pick up cleats for their son or daughter for baseball. 
And this is just my, my knowledge base of, you know, how to pick the right cleat for your son or daughter with youth of baseball. So thanks for watching guys. I appreciate all the love. Give me a thumbs up, uh, comment below. Let me know what cleats you guys are rocking. Um, obviously the fall season's here. Um, but styles come and go and yeah, there's so many options out there. So let me know which ones you're rocking and I appreciate it. Thanks.